Hey everyone, welcome to Dragon Age. We're finally here. We're back on the road. So, this is actually my third attempt at doing this. I just had nothing but mod troubles. So I've got a replacer. There might be some weird textures every now and then. And there might be an NPC that's missing textures, but I just want to get this done. The uh, vast majority of NPCs do work, and it's working well. And we got a bunch of armor replacers, new hair, all the good stuff. Doing mage this time, although my favorite character in this game is, is Rogue. We're going to have a lot of fun, I think. Uh, so we're going to do not parted episodes per se, but we're going to do sectional episodes. So this one will cover the Circle Tower. Then the next one will cover the Grey Warden's Ostagar event up into Lothering, and then the one after that will be Lothering, and so on and so forth. Yeah, so I figure that's a better format. Some of them will be longer, some of them will be a lot shorter. The Lothering one will probably be the shortest, but it'll include the camp. This one should be about an hour, I think. Or no, this one will be shorter than the next one. The Ostagar one will be a bit longer. But yeah, so that's what we're in for. Uh, I have Dragon Age 2 on my live tab on my channel that I did. If I have time and I, and I do Origins and Awakening by Veilguard, which is October 31st, then we'll do Dragon Age 2. I'm going to start doing Inquisition on live stream starting next week, I guess. So I hope you guys see you guys there. Pretty excited for Veilguard. There are some things I'm worried about with it, but it looks fun. And uh, I just love Dragon Age so much. One of my favorite IPs, and uh, we'll just get down to it, I guess. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. I have 
seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Okay, here we go. Hope you liked the video. It's like a older 30 FPS kind of video, but I could have got the advanced one, but um, what I'll do is I'll get the high res video for the camp sequence, I think. But I'm not too worried about it. I don't mind them that much. Okay, yeah, we're going to go with the up to. So what I like to do is give myself a little extra constitution at the beginning for blood magic, and I kind of like to point... Get it to 17 by the time I have the specialization. Because you're going to be using a lot of your own health instead of willpower. So I like to bump this up to 13. Give this a little bit of willpower and get her magic to 17 for now. Just a little more survivability because you do get hit quite hard in this game. Even though I'm playing a casual, I still find that it's nice to have. Okay, and then that's already selected for us, which is good. And we want frost. I eventually want Blizzard, Fireball, I, I don't get Inferno, I stop there. Don't bother with these at all, I, I don't, because I don't play on hard. So you don't need, you really don't need Rock Armor. And Chain Lightning is good. But the important spells, I think, are uh, Crushing Prison, Curse of Mortality, you absolutely want. Because if an enemy is like healing through everything, you can just do that and they can't heal themselves and it'll kill them while it's um be, they're being affected by it so it's really good uh walking bomb so virulent um, you don't really need virulent walking bomb one point here is good that's for getting a, a good amount of aoe until you can get fireball but at this level i think we'll just get uh drain life for now we can work our way towards curse of mortality which is awesome on a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhard stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinter Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the Dream Realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. Irving has like such a nice voice, like for his character. I don't know who the actor is, but... Uh, I'm ready. Know this, Apprentice. If you fail, we Templars will perform our duty, and you will die. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready.
Oh, look, and my DLC is popping in now. All right, let's just slap that in here. So fun fact, you actually have to go into your core files on PC to get this to trigger for the content. So when I first tried to do this for you guys like last week, I did a collection and someone had a really difficult hard mod on with it and I couldn't figure out which one it was. It was driving me crazy. So those things there were hitting me for like half my health. And the Knight of Valor up ahead pretty much like killed me in two hits. I don't know how people can play like that. Trust me. I'm kind of puzzled. This can't, can't be enjoyable. Dying so much. Else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. No, I don't remember anything from before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim, and you don't have much time before you end up the same. Don't waste time with that talk. You don't want to end up like this. There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you, a tease for the creatures of the Fade. Do you guys prefer voice acted lines? Like in Dragon Age 2 and 3, or do you prefer this? I'm kind of both minds, like... It's good for this game? Just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. But can you imagine if they decided not to do with it with Veilguard? Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's alright. My chance was long ago, but you... You may have a way out. Role players say it helps them immerse better, but I kind of like hearing the character's voice as well. Because it feels like I'm following their story, I'm not my own. I'm also not very imaginative, so I would not be a good role player. So let's just slip up here and get this. I've done the fade like a hundred times and I have missed this every time. I just like walked all the way through. So let's go get some mouse's form first. Another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. Oh, it's a wolf. <laughs> so, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Help you? <laughs> Nothing can help. You be gone. 
Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. Dude, I feel like Bioware has this really good spot of being where they have really good voice acting and also really good voice direction for the cast. I, guess, I think that's why their games sound so good in conversations. Because you can have a good voice actor in a game, which I've seen, and then not have good lines or good dialogue, and it's hasn't sounded that great, you know? Perfect voice for the perfect character. To help, mortal. What would you have me do? Fight the demon for you? He and I have no quarrel. And I am quite comfortable where I am. Thank you. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? Help me out, bud. It's true. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear, if you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly. And I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Truly? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? What is it, guys? It is a map. <laughs> Correct. Let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? You are my tongue. Yes, your witty tongue. Fair enough. One more try. Shall we? Often will I spin a tail, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But alas, you won't remember me. What am I? You are a dream. You are correct. Rather, apropos here in the fade, no. But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. So, I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go then, and defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. There we go. He can actually help me now. Better that than a mouse, I think. I was kind of debating keeping Morgan as a shapeship shapeshifter and uh Staying in bear form and then not having Alistair. But I don't know. And then having Wynn as well. I don't know if bear is better than an actual warrior. What kind of bear talents does he have, I wonder? He has nothing because he's in a uh, temporary character. Another spirit this way. 
Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. Indeed. The choice and the vault lies with the mages who sent you here. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Of course, you are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. As you wish, mortal. I always see people on YouTube that do this. Talk him out of it, the fight. But I like fighting him, it's kind of tradition for me. Are these rules understood? Our duel begins now. Fight with Valor! Yeah, so I would have been dead already <laughs> if I uh, hadn't got rid of that one mod. Enough. Your strength is sufficient to the task. Bring Templar armor. Staff is yours. May you find glory in all your achievements, mortal. Okay, why would you attack him after that? You would. You, I don't think you would even get anything out of it. But that's a nice little staff, I think. Can't wait to get that repository stuff. And you never know. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. I should say um, that we're not doing the fate section in the circle tower because it's really long and obnoxious and I have skipped the fade mod. If you guys do want a walkthrough for that, there are tons on the, on YouTube, but uh, just letting so you know, I won't be doing that part. Amusing. Have you not told it of all arrangement, mouse? We don't have an arrangement. Not anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Arrangement? I wonder how many uh, apprentices he's gone through. I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. That is because you are a true mage, one of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail, like they tried with you. I regret my part in it, but you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. 
if you want to help. There may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. Back! Help me back! They killed me, right? Just like all who fail in here, they'll kill you too. Can't you feel the sword at your neck? They believe all magic evil, the Fade evil. Once you are here, you become what they fear. They know nothing. Dipping children in the Fade to tease, repeating Maker like it means something. I hate those mortals so much. Mortals? We're all mortal, but the Templars? Maybe they are right about you. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Ooh. I think that was the abomination from uh, later on in the game. Say something, please. Oh god, not Jowen. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? There must be something more, or they'd tell the apprentices what's involved. I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint, and I'll stop asking, I promise. Really? That's it? That makes sense. They want to see if you can resist the demon and stop yourself from becoming an abomination. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here, and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. I've been ready for a long time. I'm afraid they don't want me to take the test. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. I, I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Did you hear anything? Is she all right? Bye bye, Jawan. Why do you care? Are you best friends now? This should be easy enough. I'm just curious. Willpower. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. A little more con and some magic. I find that if you don't, like, it's. You get burned down pretty quick. He okay, sold so mind blasts because we're gonna get crushing prison later. He says she's very talented and very brave. Well he would would write. I'll be terrified when my I'm not sure what the purpose of those vellums are. Like can you like make scrolls with those or something? I've been playing this game forever, I just never figured out what you're supposed to do with them. As you wish. Oh, there's or Owain. I was gonna call him Or 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 Orwin or something like that. <laughs> it's just some weirdo. Alright, um, where is he? Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynn, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? 
Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. I've been standing here how long? Nothing concerning you at this moment. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is she. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes, this is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. Of course not. I wished to congratulate you on a successful end to last night's ordeal. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of Magi. Wait. You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within a phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly. For you have earned them. You guys think there's like a chantry in, in Tevinter? I guess we'll find out. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time. To <laughs> Too late. Or study in the library. The day is yours. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Gregor. Oh, pile of books. Blood magic, the forbidden school. More like the best school. Kind of wish picking up this codex could get you to learn it, but... Gotta go to the Fade for that. And 1 and 2 are the only games where you can be that specialization. You will not be able to in Veilguard. Kind of makes sense, though, if you think about it. For the first and the second games, because you're kind of like a rogue kind of character. Like, you know, Grey Wardens do whatever they can to defeat the Blight and then Hawk. Kind of like doing her own thing and not part of an official group. Thank you for escorting me. What's Duncan have here? I think I have a hide helmet mod, but I don't remember. Oh, and they gave me new robes. Exactly the same. Uh, uh, look, not color. Uh, no, I don't. That's really ugly. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. We should be safe here. Oh. <laughs> There's a priest right there. Not a priest. I am merely an initiate. I often attend to my duties in this chapel. 
Perhaps that is why I seem familiar. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. Dude, you met a priest? So you can see why we wish to keep it a secret. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. You couldn't get with another mage? Thank you. I knew you'd stand by me. I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. Well, that's not good, Jowen. We gotta help you out. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk. Breathing and existing, but not truly living. There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. Make us more powerful, actually. No, it won't. They're going to destroy me. I won't put Lily through the pain of seeing me like that. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. Thank you. We will never forget this. I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stockroom. But Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. Oh, so that's why they need me. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Yeah, you think they would be like, okay, what's going on? Good luck. Our prayers go with you. I mean, it's not like they're watching. All right, we saw Wayne not long ago. Osbiro or Owenus, but there's also I saw an exclamation mark over here. Which means a quest. Oh, what does he want? I trust you saw Duncan back to his quarters. I'm glad you met him. He's a most honorable man. Uh he like set me up tonight with Duncan or what? Grey Wardens are peerless warriors who sacrifice all for our sakes. We can learn much from them. Now, did you need something? You don't want to know the future of the Grey Wardens, Duncan. Trust me. Um, I'm not going to babble on Duncan or Jawan. Us, we got to stick together, right? I've removed them from the library. I was advised it might be unwise to leave them where any apprentice may read them. They will be put away somewhere very safe. Now, is there anything else? I appreciate the favor. Bye-bye. Not tattling. I will not. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Rods of Fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? Here is the form, Request for Rod of Fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form. Thank you. Oh, he... He does sound cold, doesn't he? Old and lifeless. Motionless. So I need a senior enchanter to sign this thing. And she has a quest though. I'll do this first. 
Dude, come on. Oh, wait. Right, I forgot my, um... I had to fix some mods, they weren't working right. Yes? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. No, of course not. I just have... I, I am in the midst of stock-taking, checking inventory, and I, I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. Because I am taking a break. I hate the musty smell of caves, and I, uh... Ugh. Look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. Ooh. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. Are you? Well, I, I hope not. I, I mean, no. I'm a good mage. I've just been so busy with my new duties, I haven't had time to clear out the infestation. If you cleared them out for me, I would owe you a favor. A big one. Like a rod of fire favor? Hmm, you need a rod of fire. Interesting. Well, your proposal sounds fair. Clear out the storerooms and I will sign your form. Wonderful. Here is the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the Circle's property to a minimum. Let's torch the entire cave. Chapel. I was going to see if I, they want to come with me, but she probably won't let them in. I was wondering if, if you can bring Yawen and his girlfriend in to help you with the spiders if you're on hard mode. I'm on easy, so it's not a big deal. Just save it because I'm going to get ambushed. Spiders are so gross. It's like that sound they make too. It's like a gushy, squishy sound. Oh. You know, I was wondering, this is a cave, but we're pretty high up in the tower. How, um... You know... How's the cave here? Let's get started. Hey, ow! What the hell? Oh, freaking spider just... Almost had me for lunch. Gross. Excellent. As you wish. Oh, what's that? Fate Striders. Ooh, plus one magic. Yes. Haha, <laughs> he had money. Three defense, that's useful. Here we go. Just me, or do you actually think you have? 
This should be easy enough. I think that's it. Might have like one more. Must updated. Yeah, that's it. Take everything from the source. Our resistance good against Dragon. Good news, Leora. You're back. Are the spiders gone? Oh, wonderful. You're a lifesaver. Now, where was that form you wanted me to sign? Right. There you go. How's that? It was a pleasure. You'll go far in the circle, I bet. Welcome to the circle stockroom of magical items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Everything looks to be in order. Here is the rod you requested. Great. Time for her. Let's get Jowen out of the circle. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. That was quick. To the repository then. Freedom of waits. All right, got a crew for a dungeon. So we actually exit going back this way. Yeah, it's actually pretty high up. So I was like, how is there a cave up in the tower? And this is like a portal to somewhere else, you know. It's always possible. And it's just down there, I believe. Yeah. And the exit's over there. Which we can never leave. Imagine if, like, the whole game took place in the tower. I don't think that'd be very fun. The Chantry calls this entrance the Victim's Door. It is built of 277 blanks, one for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a mage entering together. The Chantry provides the password, which primes the ward, and the mage touches it with mana to release it. First the password. Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fae. The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry! Cool, we're in. Do you have the rod with you? Melt the locks off. You use the rod on the locks, but nothing happens. Uh oh. What's the matter? Why isn't it working? Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These wards carved into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. I should have guessed. Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. I don't know. Do you think it's another way in? That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? 
We can't get into the chamber the way we planned, but we're not about to give up. We can see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. Let's hurry. We've wasted enough time. Probably use the rod on that door. I'm not giving up. We've come to Hello, far. suit of armor. not good. Oh, hello. Wait, do you two need weapons? Hey, Lily, why don't you have a mace dagger? Actually, take a shield. Oh, she's got boots. There you go. I sense something drawing me. I'm so used to drain life being on number two. That's why I kept like I usually start with my frost spell. There. Last time I played. I always pick um, Drain Life first, then Frost. This should be easy enough. Creepy, hey? Got him. Clear in potion. Sell that later. Right. I don't have the fire cone. Whoops. Yeah, I kind of like this combat more than DA2. Perfect timing, actually. Uh, what have we got? Herbalism. Get coercion so I can sweet talk people. And I want some fire. Should be easy enough. I think those uh, frost shocks and all that make bombs and bomb uh, bombs and bombs, like healing bombs. On it. No, I don't think I can make any. Just 
poultice. I'll make a Scooby snack for my dog when I get it. It's nice even having that constitution. Right. Before it probably would have been brought down to half. There's a self. Increases the user's armor and physical resistance, but decreases movement. Okay. I think that'd be good for Morgan or Alistair to have. We'll need another way into the phylactery chamber. Let's explore the repository. Oh, <laughs> those are broken textures. I'll take that, we'll equip it later. Wow, that old... As you I wish. think the phylactery chamber is on the other side of the wall behind this bookcase. We should be able to find something that can knock some of the bricks loose. If we work together, we can shift it. Come on. Now we just need to find a way to get through this wall. Use this with the rod. I'm sure it'll work. Hurry, the clock's ticking. What else is here? A book. Some kind of angel. Oh, what's this? There's something odd about that statue. Yes, I'd have to agree with you on that. Greetings. Make us breath. Did it just say something? I am the essence and spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and advisor to Archon Valerius. Prophecy my crime, cursed to stone for foretelling the fall of my lord's house. Forever shall you stand on the threshold of my proud fortress, he said, and tell your lies to all who pass. But my lord found death at the hands of his enemies, and his once proud fortress crumbled to dust, as I foretold. A Deventer statue! Don't listen to it. The Deventer lords dabbled in many forbidden arts. This is a wicked thing. Come on, Jowen. Let's go. Oof. This is the phylactery chamber. It we must find Jowen's phylactery. Quickly. It shouldn't be hard to find. There aren't many phylacteries here. They're bleeding. Are these actual people? I thought they were just like... I don't know. Like spirits or something? or de Not demons, but... Right. That's my phylactery! You found like, it! Like humanized, human, humanoid golems, maybe. So easy just to be rid of it. 
to end its hold over me. And I am free. I do not want to stay here a moment longer. That is it. So what do we do now? Just like leave the tower? I can't believe it. Thank you. We could never have. So what you said was true. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, we're in trouble. Gregor. An initiate conspiring with a blood mage. I'm disappointed. Lily. She seems shocked, but fully in control of her own mind. Not a thrall of the Blood Mage, then. You are right, Ed. The Initiate has betrayed us. The Chantry will not let this go unpunished. And this one. Newly a mage and already flouting the rules of the Circle. I am disappointed in you. You could have told me what you knew of this plan, and you didn't. You don't care for the mages. You just bow to the Chantry's every whim. Enough! As Knight Commander of the Templars here assembled, I sentence this Blood Mage to death. And this initiate has scorned the Chantry and her vows. Take her to Aenar. The... the Mage's prison? No. Please, no. Not there. No! I won't let you touch her! Oh my god. <laughs> Rep. By the maker, blood magic. How could you? You said you never. I, admit, I, I dabbled. I thought it would make me a better mage. It did. Magic is evil, German. It corrupts people, changes them. I'm going to give it up. All magic. I just want to be with you, Lily. Please come with me. I trusted you. I was ready to sacrifice everything for you. I don't know who you are, Blood Mage. Stay away from me. Are you all right? Where's Gregor? I knew it. Blood magic. But to overcome so many, I never thought him capable of such power. None of us expected this. Are you all right, Gregor? As good as can be expected given the circumstances. If you had let me act sooner, this would not have happened. Now we have a blood mage on the loose and no way to track him down. Where is the girl? I... I am here, sir. You helped a blood mage. Look at all he's hurt. Pretty sure those two guards are toast. You've been a friend, but you needn't defend me any longer. Night Commander, I... I was wrong. I was accomplice to a... A blood mage. I will accept whatever punishment you see fit. Even... Even Aenar. Get her out of my sight! And you. You know why the repository exists. Some artifacts, some magics are locked away for a reason. Did you take anything important from the repository? Absolutely not. <laughs> I want that stuff. Very well. I believe you. But your antics have made a mockery of this circle! What are we to do with you? Nobody knows what happens. No one will ever find out. You helped a blood mage escape. All our prevention measures for naught because of you. Knight Commander, if I may, I'm not only looking for mages to join the King's army. I'm also recruiting for the Grey Wardens. Irving spoke highly of this mage, and I would like her to join the Warden ranks. Duncan, this mage has assisted the Malefica and show no lack of regard for the Circle's rules. She is a danger to all of us. It is a rare person who risks all for a friend in need. I stand by my decision. I will recruit this mage. No, I refuse to let this go unpunished. Invoke the right. Gregor, mages are needed. This mage is needed. 
Worse things plague this world than blood mages. You know that. I take this young mage under my wing and bear all responsibility for her actions. A blood mage escapes and his accomplice is not only unpunished, but is rewarded by becoming a Grey Warden. Are our rules nothing? Have we lost all authority over our mages? This does not bode well, Irving. Enough. Rewarded, hey? No more say in this matter. I don't know if you're rewarded for joining the wardens. It's kind of thing, something you just, you have to. Yes. Be proud, child. You are luckier than you know. Come. Your new life awaits. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh there, Fred. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I understand you hail from a circle of Magi. I trust you have some spells to help us in the coming battle. Sure do. Got some fire. Excellent. Got some frost. Here. Another is always welcome. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled grave wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. No, I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. But... Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. That's a great shot. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Yeah, that's a really cool shot, actually. All right, that is it for the Circle Tower Origin video. So we'll do Ostagar on the next one. And then uh, Lothering after that. So take care, guys.